Put this about a kale on it. The joy of walking in the markets. Box of eggs fell off the trolley. Nothing worse, left picking them up. Absolutely nothing worse than a box of eggs falling. Really. It's the boss man, that's Jerry. That's the, the head honcho. How long have you known Jerry? Uh, Till man. We worked for Jerry when he had black hair. <laughs> this buddy, he's the uh, the head order writer. I mean, works. You don't, you don't use the same walker. So it's a, real, it's a real sight to get this on cameras, you know what I mean? You can get a still frame and hang it up. Where's the next step? Yeah, well, we're just uh, getting the orders ready. Someone, someone found in the orders, writes them down, and we get them, put them on the trail, and put them on the van. That's and before we bring them out and check them off. Jamie. Jamie, for that uh, toy orchid, is that a bunch of asparagus or a box? <sighs> Watch where I'm walking over there. Here's the tea, yeah, hey! That's the daddy, too. When he is moving to the new, yeah. to the new stores. Oh, I was only up a pair of fingers. Handy, innit? You up there to see it? There's showers and all of here. No way. Handy enough, is it? People from the flats always walked in the fish market or in the market because it's so convenient. You just come outside your door and it's here. There's a lot of culture as well involved in it, so. I don't no know. way. People had generations upon generations walking in the market, you know what I mean? Your grandfather, then your dad, then you, you know what I mean? It's because everybody, I think every person walked in the market. It's just it's something you do. It's, it's just, I don't think the early be the same when it goes because have that buzz, you know, that like forklift driving by a window and all. And.